Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at how technology is being used to protect cold environments and those who live there. This is part of Paper 1, Unit B, The Living World. Cold environments have been significantly harmed by economic development. Hunting has caused some species to be at risk of extinction, mineral extraction and energy industries have polluted the land, and indigenous communities have had their traditional cultures threatened. There are many different ways that technology has been used to preserve the delicate environment and the traditional communities who live there. One of the biggest risks to communities in cold environments is the loss of population as people move away and therefore there is a decline in the culture. Technology has been used to prevent outmigration. So life for traditional indigenous communities in cold environments is harsh. Many young people have moved away as a result. However, technology has started to make life easier, which might stop out migration. For example, people now buy clothing, often online, made from modern materials, rather than having to make clothes from animal skins and hides. Children have access to TV and ICT so they can play computer games and they can communicate with friends online. Whereas before, they would used to have to play outside and therefore were bored during the bitter winter season. And traditional communities such as the Inuit get around by snowmobiles and cars where there are roads rather than relying on kayaks and sleds being pulled by dogs, although these are still used. All of these new modern technologies make life slightly easier for these communities. Technology means that some of the most remote places in the world are now well connected to the rest of the globe. The internet in particular has been a lifeline for remote communities within the Arctic Circle. This started off with a wireless radio system and satellite links set up in all of the main settlements and then shared computer and internet facilities. Access to technology is still patchy in places, however there are some tiny remote communities who have access to a mobile phone network despite not having traditional services such as landline telephones and regular mail deliveries. Many people in remote communities access education and health services through video conferencing such as Zoom. This has enabled Inuit children to connect online to lessons being delivered by teachers in other schools. Students in isolated regions can complete a range of online courses and degrees run by the University of Alaska. This is fantastic for them because it does mean that they can get a variety of qualifications and therefore they have much better employment opportunities in the future. Recently, high-speed broadband networks have been set up in even the remotest of communities. A 15,600 kilometre fibre optic cable has been laid along the Arctic coastline of North America, connecting these isolated communities to the rest of the world. This investment into communications infrastructure has been made easier due to global warming as it is easier to lay the cables when the ice thins. All of these technological investments mean that the people in this region are more likely to stay where they are rather than having to migrate to other areas. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the different ways that technology has been used to protect cold environments and the people who live in them. Thank you for watching.